Hello. My name is Pat, and I am here to tell you about token economy. A token economy is a system of behavior modification based on the systematic positive reinforcement of target behavior. The reinforcers are symbols or tokens that can be exchanged for other reinforcers. Token economy is based on the principles of operant conditioning and can be situated within applied behavior analysis, behaviorism. Token economies are applied with children and adults. Three requirements are basic for a token economy. You need tokens. Tokens have to be used as reinforcers. A token is an object or symbol that can be exchanged for material reinforcers services or privileges, backup reinforcers. In applied settings a wide range of tokens are being used, coins, check marks, images of small sums, points on a counter. These things are worthless. Their value lies in the fact that they can be exchanged for valued things. Technically speaking tokens aren't primary reinforcers, but secondary or learned reinforcers. Lots of research has been done on token reinforcement, including animal studies. For a token economy, you also need backup reinforcers. Tokens have no intrinsic value, but can be exchanged for other valued reinforcing events. Backup reinforcers. Most token economies offer a choice of differing backup reinforcers, material reinforcers, sweets, cigarettes, journals, money or services, breakfast and bed, having your room cleaned, activities or privileges and other extras, passes for leaving the building or area, permission to stay in bed, phone calls, having your name or picture on the wall. There are plenty of possible backup reinforcers. They're chosen in function of the individual or group for which the token economy is set up, or depending on the possibilities available to the staff. Before starting they decide how many tokens have to be paid for each backup reinforcer. Often price lists are exposed or given to the clients. Some backup reinforcers can be bought anytime, for other exchange times are limited, for example opening times of a token shop. Also, you need specified target behaviors. Using exchangeable tokens isn't sufficient for a token economy. The contingencies have to be specified before introducing the program. Sometimes client manuals are written to specify how many tokens can be earned by each target behavior, including the exact criteria being used. When a staff member gives tokens to a client just because he judges he's behaving positively, isn't part of a token economy. That's just arbitrarily giving tokens. Criteria have to be clarified before starting the program if making your bed is a target behavior, staff and clients have to know how a well-made bed looks like, do the sheets have to be put under the mattress, cushion on top. Often these specifications are hard to make, eating politely, positive cooperation, how to specify these. There's a broad range of possible target behaviors, self-care, attending activities, academic behavior, disruptive behavior. Clearly specified behavioral criteria can facilitate the learning process. A token economy helps people experience the immediate consequences of their behavior and get a grip on their life. Their social environment becomes more predictable. While planning how many tokens can be earned by each target behavior some factors have to be considered, one has to assure that everyone can already earn a minimal amount of tokens for a minimal effort, 
and on the other hand one has to arrange that clients don't earn too much too soon, making more effort useless. Sometimes the possibility of punishment by token loss is included, technically called response cost disruptive behavior can be fined with the loss of tokens. This also should be clearly specified before the application starts clients can be involved in the specifying of the contingencies.